Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we are talking about something that literally every content creator is talking about. And because I feel kind of the same way, I'm going to be doing a video as, as well. So let's get some things out of the way first. I am not a PvP guy. I am not any of the sort of a person that can quick scope and get like the most nastiest of kills. I'm not, you know, the YouTubers that are literal fucking gods that can do the nastiest shit. I'm not that guy. I am literally like you. I am a dude who's just trying to have fun and occasionally gets destroyed by a mountaintop or a recluse or insert powerful weapon here. So please know that when I'm saying some of the shit that I'll be saying right now, it's not coming from a from a, sp a place that oh I'm a I'm superior than you. I'm not coming from a from a point of view from that aspect. I'm coming from a point of view where it's like sometimes I do good, sometimes I do don't. So you know, don't attack me. Other than that. <laughs> Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the stuff that I'm about to be saying. Not only that, if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below, but let's get into it. So, for me, Chris was just not fun anymore. Honestly, it hasn't been fun for a while. It probably like the middle of Shadowkeep, it stopped being fun. Probably because I started noticing a lot more of like shit that's just wrong with it. Not only that, but to be honest, me playing Modern Warfare kind of opened my eyes to some of the dumb shit that destiny 2 has so obviously i'm gonna straight up and say titans and warlocks y'all have the dumbest shit in the, your fucking kit and i can say this because i have all three characters not only that but you guys all have one hit kills titans you literally have on each of your subclass a one shot kill you have shoulder charge for each of those warlocks you have I'm gonna say two grenades because y'all do really do have two grenades. You have the mill tree void grenade, and then you have what is it? I think it's bottom tree. No, not bottom tree. Top tree void, which you can charge your grenade and then just make it super stupid powerful. Now again, I'm saying kinda because you could get away with it. You could get away from it, but more times you're just gonna instantly die from it because the amount of damage you do with that is fucking dumb so with that being said what about hunters hunters are, are broken right uh no like we're honestly not i don't i don't see anything that we're broken like please tell me in the comments below if we're broken because maybe i have hunter vision but our, our middle tree void got nerfed. We don't have wall hacks as much as we used to. We have it for three seconds now. But I mean, if you're gonna bitch about that, you can take it away and put something else. I've thought about like maybe if we if we activate true sight and we get the that melee that should weaken enemies, that should suppress, that should suppress enemies. Or that should one shot. I see no problem with that since you all have one shot abilities. But if you guys don't wanna go there, then I think I feel like a hunter procking a headshot while crouched should be able to suppress someone with that melee. That's just me though. Other than that, if you guys want to talk about Blade Barrage, I mean, oh, you, you guys panic that. You guys have panic supers too. Titans have middle tree arc. I've used that to panic hit someone. You guys have literally all of arc tree. Like you all have, you all do that. So don't even come at me with that. Uh, Void, uh, Warlocks, you have top tree and bottom tree void so don't come at me with that either like arc arc is powerful it's just not like insanely powerful you, you could tell me like oh yeah you guys have arc battery granted we do have arc battery but you also have arc battery you guys can do that too it's not just us the only thing is that we can dodge that's the only thing we finally our dodge is actually useful now but titans you have fucking the one shot with uh bottom tree striker Warlocks, you have almost the exact same thing, but grosser. You guys have arc web, so I don't know, man. Me personally, I'm tired. I am so tired of getting into a game, trying to kill someone with a gun, and then getting slammed by a fucking Titan, or trying to kill this one Warlock, and then he just grenades me. I am so tired of one-shot mechanics. I'm really tired of it. Now, don't get it twisted. Snipers and shotguns should definitely one shot. I don't care who you are. I don't care what argument you give me. A shotgun to your body should kill you. A sniper to the dome should kill you. That's it. There's no like, oh no, no. 
you can't change my mind on this. There's no debate. That has to happen. Now, the one that kind of kills me is Fusion Rifle. I want to say that should kill, but Arantel is kind of stupid. Arantel is really stupid. So, Destiny needs, or Bungie needs to find a way to kind of look at that and be like, why are you stupid and why is everything else not stupid? Because Arantel is basically a sniper rifle. If you get the right rolls on it, it's a sniper rifle. I was one roll off from be from getting that sniper rifle. I had, I only got a red dot on it instead of a scope. So, yeah, I think it's stupid when I'm literally doing a gunfight and some guy could just get out his Arantel with backup battery or backup plan and then just instantly melt me. So you know, I think that's stupid. Other than that, I'm I'm just real tired of getting killed by literally one shot stuff like. Snipers, I'm okay with. Shotguns, I don't care anymore. I I, I stopped feeling. But Aaron Tell still pisses me off. Warlock nades and Titan smashes still piss me off because I always hear the same fucking argument that everyone does. Oh, well, if you're going to go attack a, a warlock, you should know what you're getting into. That's such a hollow fucking argument. Like, okay, so I'm just, I should just never attack a warlock. Same thing with the Titan. You should never get too close to a Titan. What if I'm rocking a, a shotgun? Are you, t are you really telling me that I'm gonna have to switch my whole loadout? You're really gonna tell me this with a straight face? Fuck out of here. Because at the end of the day, our f like my solar blade does not even fucking one hit kill if I dome someone with it. But like a fucking shoulder charge that has tracking. I don't know that, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. And it's funny too, cause like, I don't even think we have any broken, any broken exotics. Like, I mean, everyone has a whole, except Titans, obviously. Titans have one-eyed mask, which needs to be fucking shelled because, spoiler alert, Titans, you have a lot other fucking cooler exotics that do more for you in the long run. But that's just me. Warlocks have a lot of cool ones too. We don't, you guys don't have any broken ones as well. Not, not Nothing's coming to mind at least. Hunters, we, I mean, people are probably going to say Worm Husk, but I just heal a little bit. I heal a little bit from a dodge that you can still shoot me in. So the health that I'm literally getting, you're already shooting that part of it. So Worm Husk right now, without Arc Battery, just helps me survive one in, like one encounter. So if I'm shooting you and I feel like, oh, I'm going to die from this, I can just dodge away to a corner and I'll barely meet, be able to make it. If I'm lucky, I'll have a quarter health, maybe. So, I don't think it's powerful because I, it doesn't, doesn't, I just, I'm just alive. Like, I get to live. Like, how's that fucking broken, bro? Other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything broken PVP wise, PVE wise, uh, I don't know either. Like, for everyone at least. So, for me, I Crucible has just been very, very sweaty and very unfun because people are just using these same loadouts day in and day out, which is Mountaintop Recluse or anything else for a primary, but Recluse. Like, it really pisses me off, pisses me off the fact that I'm talking about this because Recluse is going to get nerfed. I know it's going to get nerfed. People are bitching about it too much now. It's going to get nerfed. And then people are going to flock to the next thing that is going to be super powerful. And I, I get that. I really do. But why don't you just buff everything else? Not to the level of Recluse. I'm not saying that. But just buff everything to the point where I could use Recluse. Or I could use this other gun that is not as great as Recluse. But it does give me a slight advantage in this certain situation. Like, I would love that. Like, give me that, please. I, I want to see people diversify. I want to see people use other stuff because when other people use other stuff, it makes me kind of think, oh shit, was that really a good weapon? Let me go look that up because I have a fuck ton of weapons in my inventory already or in my vault. I'll just look it up because I probably have it and be like, oh shit, I have a really good role in that. I'll use that instead. That's what happened with spare rations. I noticed a lot of people were using it, and then I made, I wanted to get one, so I started playing more more Gambit. Then I got a God Roll, now I'm using that. Like, get, uh, 
Crucible has just been such a slog and it pisses me off because a lot of the content creators that I really like to watch are talking about this, talking about it too. And they're really, really angry about it or really just sad about it. And it kind of kills me because a lot of the content creators that I follow are content creators that I would love to work with, like obviously in the future, because right now I'm kind of like a little ADDBDDDBD content creator, but they're content creators that I would love to just like talk to and chill with because most of them are real cool people. And I would love to like play with them just so I can like some of their skill could rub off on me. But like I said, it's, I'm not telling, I'm not saying that it's garbage. I'm not saying that it's dying. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I just don't want the Crucible to die off. So that's pretty much it. It's a really depressing video for me because I really do like Crucible, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, follow me on my social media outlets. Things are in the description below, and I'll see you guys later.